Recently in a Wilcom class, our teacher showed us that we could color separate or assign different colors to letters within a word without breaking it apart. And in Embroidery Design Plus, um, we can do that. So without the word selected, I'll now click on the lettering icon and I'm going to hold down my left mouse and just select, and it's a little tricky, I'm using a touchpad, so bear with me here. It wants to, let's try it from the center. There we go. Um, so now that I have a letter selected, I'm not I'm not breaking the word apart, but I'll just assign this a new color. Let's see if I have any better luck like here. I think it's me in this trackpad. But if you'll hold your left mouse, left mouse button down while you stroke, it's just like we would have done in Word um, that we were selecting. letters or words in a document. It works the same way. I'm getting a little better, a little practice. But you can change each of them. Now, so in experimenting, um, I can still, t and here you can see that they're separated out, but they are still one word that has not been broken. And I can still apply That, that one's way too spread out. Let's hit one so we can see the actual size. But where you will um, take it back to square one, if I were to go in and change my word, and touch OK, I'm going to lose my, my color breaks. And that's truly what they are. They're... Um, they're telling the machine to stop so that you can change the thread to a new color. But I haven't broken it, um, which I thought was pretty neat. Thanks for watching.